So today I want us to build together a fun setup you can use to add metallic percussive sounds to your patches and modify things with a click of a button. If you follow my channel, you must have heard me say Opalach multiple times, which means something like oops or oopsie daisy, so I thought this is perfect for this setup. This will of course work in VCV Rack, this can be great also if you have VCV Pro in your DAW, and this will work also with the new 4MS Meta module, so you can have a nice FM voice in your modular setup, we will see everything later on. Now for this we will use two pairs of FM operator modules from Bogo Audio 1, and then another one. So we will have two FM voices where one FM operator, the so-called modulator, will modulate the other, the carrier in each pair. So one output will go to the FM input of the other. I will mix them also with the VCV mix module, right? The carriers one and two, this will, uh, will for now go also to the output. And now for triggering these voices or for gating them, I will use the push module and send the gate output to all four operators. By the way, I'm holding control and shift so I can just grab another cable. Right, so now I can trigger them. And let's start adding some variation to this. So first of all, we will use the Bog Audio sample and hold module. This will output random voltage. In the right click menu, we can set its range. I will go with unipolar zero to 10 and I will use both sections to modulate the FM depth on the carriers one and two. And now, since we have something connected to the input with the Bog Audio modules, the controller will become an attenuator. So now we have to open it. So let's open it to about 50%. And let's add more randomness in this case with the VCV random or VCV R and D. Also, this will output random voltages in the right click menu. Again, we can set the range. In this case, I will go with zero to five volts. And this we will use to modulate the pitch of all four operators through the volt per octave. One, two, three, and four. Now again, we are modulating the pitch with zero to five. So we have a range of five volts or five octaves. So it might be a bit too much. So what we can do is we can start from a lower starting point, a lower frequency. So if I take this uh, all four operators a bit down, right, it will go from there five octaves up or up to five octaves up. Now let's use another push module. I will just duplicate the one I have here. And this one will trigger the random module and also the sample and hold. By the way, this input is normal to the lower one, so there is no need to connect both. Right, so now if I click this push, but push uh, module once, now things got randomized. Now if I trigger this voice, we got this FM percussive sound. If I trigger it again, we have a different one and another one, right? So like this, we can create all sorts of different metallic sounds, which can be quite, quite interesting. Okay, now I would like to add a few more things here. So first of all, I would like to add a low pass filter for a couple of reasons. I will use the VCV VCF and send the mix through the low pass filter. Right, so first of all, of course, this will add another timbre control, but it will also add another control over the decay and will let us also modulate the decay time. If you look at the FM operators, right, we have a built-in envelope, but we have no CV input for the decay time. So if you want to modulate the decay, we cannot really do this with the CV inputs. So what we can do is we can add an envelope, an ADSR envelope, for example, take the attack and sustain all the way down. And now this will modulate the filter. So if I close it a bit more and I open the attenuverter to open it, and maybe I will bring the push module for a second here because we need again another gate. Right now I have here control over the decay. Right, and release of course. Maybe we get a harsher sound for a second. Let's see what this will give us. Right, so I have here control over the decay. And as you can see, we have also CV inputs in this case. So again, I can have another temporary control. Can add also drive if I want. 
right? And I have also CV inputs over the decay. Now, another thing I would like to add is macro controls to control the decay of the carriers and the decay of the modulators. So for this, we will use the patch master module. It will look like this. In the right click menu, we can add knobs and controllers. So I'm going to add a large unipolar knob here. If I hover above it and hit shift and D, this will duplicate the control. First one will be carrier decay, right? The second one will be mod decay. Now, if again I hover above them and I hit shift one, I can start mapping things. So shift one, the first mapping will be the decay for the first or the second carrier, uh, how you want to look at it. If I hit shift two, this will be the second one. And shift three will be the decay of the envelope and shift four will be the release of the envelope, right? So now we have control over the decay of the overall sound. And with the mod decay, again, shift one, will be the decay of the first modulator and shift two will be the decay of the second modulator. So again, now I have control over the carriers and over the modulator just to shape the sound a bit more. By the way, you can save this also as a selection file to load into your patches. If you do want to load it and use the selection files, just make sure to use the um, Sturmelder strip plus plus module as you can see right we, we have mappings here if you load it from the file menu import selection the mappings will not be saved I hope this will be solved in the future but there is a module strip plus plus again from Sturmelder that you can use to import selection files with the mappings here I have the recent one right when you click it you can choose where to place it if I place it here this is the selection file for this, um, for this system, for this setup, including the mappings, right? Another thing you can do, of course, is you can create a full collection of samples from this and use them with your favorite sampler. And here is an example of a patch in VCVREC, again, with this setup, right? So I have the FM operators. In this case, I'm using the multi-step sequencer to sequence this, right? Metallic voice. And again, I can just hit push here and get a different sound until I like something. Right, maybe something like this. I do have some delay on it and a send reverb. Right, maybe something like this. change the decay right of course I have here a kick with plats maybe take the level here a bit down and I have also hi-hats with another plats and here I'm using plateau as a sort of a open head setup right setting it with a low diffusion clearing the buffer right so it sounds quite nice and I have here another uh, of this uh, setup, another um, instance of this setup. Right in this case, I'm using the eight step sequencer to sequence it. I'm using here two filters. So the original filter, and then sending this into a second filter for bringing this in and out. Again, modulating the decay in this case, right? We have CV inputs for the decay. And this is going also again to a delay. So again, another metallic percussive sound. Then I have here also a sort of a simple bass with kick all. And here I have it loaded in Bitwig in my DAW, right? I have here the same setup. This is a sort of a percussive voice, as you can see here that I'm triggering with Bitwig devices. Right, this is the metallic voice that I have here set up. I have here another one that is a sort of a bass. Right, again, with the same setup. And I have here another one which is a sort of a 
random notes because I'm also triggering the randomization. Right, and I have here also probability for the notes. Put some uh, granular effects from unfiltered audio silo. Right, to this we have a kick. Open hat. So again, this will work also really nicely if you have VCV Rec Pro. And here I have it loaded into the meta module, right? You can see all the controls here, the decay, the drive of the filter, all of the controls that I have set also in VCV Rec. Right, and I'm sequencing it here with a verbos uh, with a verbos sequencer. This is going through magneto. Let me bring in the dry signal. Right, and now again, in this case, I don't have the button expander, but I can just turn a knob, and it will randomize everything. Right, so let's say that I like this one again. I can change the. Okay. There's also some modulation here. Now I can start processing it. This is with Magneto. Right, also here I can add a kick drum. the verbal sequencer modulating the decay but also I can bring in the um, spring reverb on magneto and just to create an interesting effect ever another version of the kick drum some noise from noise plethora. Right, and again I can continue randomizing it, although I pretty like this sound, but... Uh all sorts of different percussion, per metallic percussion. This is also quite nice, maybe another one. Right, so again, I can use it also with the meta module in hardware. And that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come join us on Patreon and Discord. Cheers.